O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Ecclesiastes, Chapter 11 Put out your bread on the face of the waters, for after a long time it will come back to you again. Give a part to seven, or even to eight, because you have no knowledge of the evil which will be on earth. If the clouds are full of rain, they send it down on the earth. And if a tree comes down to the south, or to the north, or in whatever place it comes down, there it will be. He who is watching the wind will not get the seed planted and he who is looking to the clouds will not get in the grain. As you have no knowledge of the way of the wind, 
or of the growth of the bones in the body of her who is with child. Even so, you have no knowledge of the works of God who has made all. In the morning, put your seed in the earth, and until the evening, let your hand not rest, because you are not certain which will do well, this or that, or if the two will be equally good or bad. Truly, the light is sweet, and it is good for the eyes to see the sun. But if a man's life is long and he has joys in all his years, let him keep in mind the dark days, because they will be great in number. Whatever may come is to no purpose. Have joy, O young man, while you are young, and let your heart be glad in the days of your strength, and go in the ways of your heart, in the desire of your eyes. But be certain that for all these things God will be your judge. So put away trouble from your heart and sorrow from your flesh, because the early years and the best years are to no purpose. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 20. When Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples on one side and said to them, See, we are going to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be given into the hands of the chief priests and the scribes, and they will give orders for him to be put to death, giving him up to the Gentiles to be made sport of, to be whipped, and to be put to death on the cross. On the third day he will come back again from the dead. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons, giving him worship and making a request of him. He said to her, What is your desire? She said to him, Let my two sons be seated, the one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus answered and said, you have no idea what you are asking. Are you able to take of the cup which I am about to take? They said to him, We are able. Jesus replied to them, Truly you will take of my cup, but to be seated at my right hand and at my left is not for me to give, but it is for those for whom my Father has made it ready. When it came to the ears of the ten, they were angry with the two brothers. But Jesus said to them, You see that the rulers of the Gentiles are lords over them, and their great ones have authority over them. But let it not be so amongst you. If anyone has a desire to be great, let him be your servant. Whoever has the desire to be first among you, let him take the lowest place even as the Son of Man did not come to have servants, but to be a servant, and to give his life for the salvation of men. While they were going out from Jericho, a great number went after them. Two blind men seated at the wayside, when they heard the news that Jesus was coming, gave out a, a loud cry, saying, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. The people gave orders for them to be quiet, but they cried out even louder, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus, stopping, sent for them and asked them, What would you have me do for you? They said to him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. Jesus, moved with pity, put his fingers on their eyes, and immediately they were able to see and went after him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that by you, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Collect for aid against all perils. Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, tonight and forevermore. Amen.